Hey everyone, John here from ContraBIM back with another ARCHICAD tutorial. Today's subject is all about the new ARCHICAD 25 section elevation and even interior elevation settings and new features. And we're going to be running through a little uh, sample here. Um, this is actually just a little snip from the new ContraBIM residential template for ARCHICAD 25. And I've laid out some of the new casework uh, cabinets and we'll take a look at a section today that's cut through these cabinets here um, just a quick note we are um, we're talking pretty much all about uh, textures and surface settings in the sections today those are the new features um, but I do want to just note that we're primarily going to be looking at the counters and the backsplash the cabinets themselves are actually just white in this sample um, so I just want to point that out. Um, all right, so we have this section. It's set to pick up the entire uh, kind of uppers and lowers currently. And let's take a look at our current settings here in our section. So you'll notice we have kind of a slight blue background here in our view setting. And um, right now we currently have our cut elements. Um, these actually we're not going to be talking about today really at all because we don't have anything on our uh, section uh, cut uh, in this particular view except for the floor here and we're not really talking about the floor. So we're mainly talking about our uncut elements here. Currently you can see we're set to the surface color fill with non-shaded as our option. So the new features in ARCHICAD 25 are actually the surface texture fill non-shaded as well as shaded. So that's what we're going to be talking about today is those new uh, texture fills and some of the new features that come along with those. So yeah, right now we have our cover fill foreground turned on. Um, you can see that we're not overriding any of the uncut pens right now. So we're just using the contour pens of the objects and we don't have any shadows turned on. And um, yeah, that's why we are getting this look. It's not bad though. and. Um, yeah, it's certainly, you know, this is kind of the default setting that was in the previous versions of, Ar of ARCHICAD. Um, but now let's jump into the sample of the new features, which is the new texture fill. So let's add the texture fill and we'll start out with just non-shaded. We'll leave our cover fill foreground. Um, we'll turn it off for a minute and then we'll add it back in. Um, but yeah, you can see immediately we are starting to get our textures coming through. So there's our tile, our marble, and then we have this uh, tile pattern that I've laid out using the curtain wall tool. So, all right, let's start building on top of this a little bit more. And let's add, say, our surface cover fill foreground. That'll bring back the pattern of our textures. So let's check this out. So there we go. Um, one of the nice things with the ability to really compare the uh, the cover fills and the surfaces at the same time is it does give us the opportunity to go into our surface settings and make some adjustments to try to match these up even closer so right now we kind of have this light uh, or this very thin uh, gray pen if we want to add just a little bit of color here to kind of pull out some of that blue to this we can go in and just um, that would be pretty light. Maybe we'll go with like a darker blue. And let's see what we get now. So, okay, that almost fades out entirely, but that does um, probably match a little bit closer to the actual texture if we zoom way in. So it kind of gives us a little bit of highlight there with that uh, pen color. So that's one of the benefits. I think the side effect of having this texture fill turned on is that now you can actually compare um, more so in context, the uh, the hatching pens that we have um, with the surface themselves. So, all right, let's jump back into our section settings and let's add a little bit more interest to this by turning on our shadows. And we'll turn on our transparency as well. And so you'll see that this is going to start giving us uh, you know, a lot more depth to it. And uh, yeah, this is starting to look pretty good. So that brings me to kind of the next feature that is something brand new in ARCHICAD 25 as well, which is the option for kind of cutting the foreground and the faded distant elements in our section. So let's 
play around with this new feature as well. And right now our kind of default settings here is we're set to nothing. So we're currently going to be filling any distant elements uh, with nothing. So it's going to essentially be empty. And let's take a look at this and see what we get. So all right, there we are. We can see that because we're filling with nothing, we can actually see that light blue of our background coming through. Uh, but let's jump back over to our a floor plan view to actually see where that line is. So you'll notice that this new little cutting line appeared when we jumped back over because we had just enabled that feature and we can really move this wherever we want. So say if we only wanted to fade out our backsplash, we can move that to pick up our uppers. And when we jump over, you can see that that will now uh, cut those out. And, um, and yeah, that's a great new feature for sure. Definitely like that. Let's see here. Let's actually add in, you'll notice that um, right now we don't have any of the uh, cover fills coming through from our backsplash. Um, you'll see, actually we have the option down here. I do want to just point out that that option is connected to our uncut elements. So as we turn that on and off, it does take away or present that option. So there are some settings here that are definitely directly tied to that option there. So, okay, so now we're starting to bring back our uh, cover fills there. Let's make some more adjustments to this. So let's see what else we have here for our uncut. So you'll notice right now we have this filled with nothing. We could do like a uniform uh, pen color. So that would override all of our uh, contours there. Um, we could turn on our color fill non-shaded or we can even turn on our surface texture fill non-shaded. Notice down here that our shaded options are grayed out. That's because we're actually tied to our uncut here once again. So when we switch that up top, it's going to switch this down below. And so that is how we can uh, control the different settings on our faded distance. So let's turn this on and we'll leave our cover fills turned on and let's see what we get. Okay, so now we have kind of a faded uh, backsplash there for our texture. And um, I think to highlight this feature a little bit more, let's create a little bit more contrast in this view setting by going with a black background. And let's actually rebuild by hitting, we'll, we'll click on this, but it's Control Shift R to rebuild our view. And you'll notice that the background or the faded elements the, the shading that applies to those is directly related to the background color. So as we adjust this here and we jump back, you'll see that we've now cut out our uppers and you'll see that that dark color has now kind of switched to what we had going on in the back. Um, let's see what else we can do to maybe add a little more interest to this. So um, we could, with our faded elements, we could override with an uncut line pen. Um, and so we could, you know, set this to anything. We could do a light blue and that's just going to really make those jump out even more. So we're starting to get a little strange in our coloration here, but we just have so many different options that we can um, set here to override those. So um, we could even override with a different pen color. So if we wanted to really kind of fade these out, let's kind of, let's go with like a dark blue scheme. You can see that we can, you know, really get those to stand out in this particular view. But it's um, um, yeah, it's just another option for overriding those faded option, the the fade there. So on top of that, we also have an option relating to our shadows with these faded faded elements. So when we turn off and on our shadows, you'll see that this is another one of those settings that's connected to our uh, some of the other you know peripheral settings that we have. And so by enabling this, we can turn on our shadows here as well. And that's going to apply currently the same settings. We can override that if we wanted um, right to the background also. So just so many different view settings that we have here to play with. Um, and I just suggest to, you know, take some time, play around with this for yourself and have some fun. So um, let's, I'm going to kind of set this back to a view that think might look good. So let's go back to our texture surface. Um, that's on our uncut fill and we'll leave our shadow as is. 
and okay so that's looking good let's bring this back kind of into a more traditional type view let's hit Control shift r to rebuild our view and yeah definitely a very nice new feature that I'm enjoying a lot. So, um, all right, certainly there's other settings here we could go through, um, but at this point, hopefully I've pointed out some of the highlights uh, that will get you started with playing around with this on your own. Um, I'd recommend just to, yeah, go through, play with it, have some fun, and see what different types of views that you can get out of your elements. So, um, I'll just kind of highlight that this does look really awesome when we start turning on some other, uh, you know, textures as well. So say for example here we wanted to bring through some different surfaces like a wood surface. Let's add, I don't know, let's add like this one. We'll add a sapili. We'll apply it to everything. In this case, we have these segments. A um, little trick here on these. I'd have to go through and change each and every one of these to actually update those. If I uncheck that and then if I click on and off of one that's a little bit more simplified structure, this is a little trick uh, bonus here that we'll add at the end of this video. Um, if we go back to our representation, it doesn't give us so many segments, but it will override all of them for the others as well. So that's one little trick that I've found because there's just so many um, texture options when we start creating new um, segments. So that's a kind of a shortcut so that we don't have to fill out all four of those segments. And yeah, you can see that, yeah, we're bringing through all this new um, you know, the new textures, we're still fading out the background options, um, but of course we can turn that on and off, and yeah, tons and tons of different options here. So, okay, let's wrap this one up there, and uh, yeah, have fun playing around with it, and we'll be back with more tutorials here on the new ArchiCAD 25 features, as well as new features in the ContraBIM residential template uh, which is available now. So I'll post a link to that in the description. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.